there was other things I was gonna say and I don't remember what they were because I trained for a really long time this morning and then I did a Pilates class as well and then I ate a giant cookie and now I'm here and I am tired. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Anything could happen. channel. Today I want to show you what is in my aerial equipment bag that I take with me to classes and to training and to teaching. I'm going to first show you the stuff that I would take to a class and then I'm going to show you the stuff that I would take to a open training or something where I'm working more on my own. I'm also just going to reiterate that like I'm an overpacker so this is a lot of stuff. You might not want to carry this much stuff around but it gives you an idea of like what could be useful. So it is what it is. I give it to you. Before we get started, as usual, I'm going to remind you to please subscribe to my channel because I've got lots of aerial videos over there, including tutorials and more videos like this one that are a bit broader subject. First off, I'm going to show you my bag, which is this nice little backpack rucksack that I got at Decathlon for 10 euros because it's going to have a hard life and I don't mind having like a 10 euro bag that's just going to get rosin all over it, get beat up carrying aerial equipment. And I do generally go for a backpack because it's nice if your shoulders are tired after you've been in the air for a long time to be able to use both shoulders. Also, it's just better for your back. And also, if I have a burn on one shoulder right now, I have a really bad burn back here, I can just choose which shoulder I want to put it on, um, which I guess is any bag. If I just described all bags, you guys are gonna have to bear with me if I get a little bit weird. In fact, I might, do I wanna drink a glass of wine while I'm doing this? I did my single foot heel thing today, I deserve this. Yeah. So the first thing I'm gonna pull out is a long sleeve top. I really prefer to work out in a tank top or a sports bra, but you never know when a teacher is going to be like, surprise, it's elbow hang day. So you do want to have the option of something that's going to protect a little bit more of your skin. You can tell I really like this kind of top. You can just throw it on and get into your elbow hangs, get into your lion roll that might irritate your skin if you don't have a long sleeve. So make sure you have a long sleeve option with you in your bag when you're going to a class. On that same note, I'm going to pull out my socks. Same thing, if I go to a class, maybe the teacher is gonna be like, uh, today we're doing a bunch of foot hangs, ankle hangs. So if you have socks, you can just throw them on at a moment's notice and protect yourself. So this is just about having a little bit extra skin coverage in case you're doing a move that you need it for. Speaking of skin or the complete lack thereof, I have my tape and a little roll of Kleenex or a napkin. This is just generic sports tape that you can buy at any pharmacy. And this is great if you are doing something and you get a little burn. What you can do is just take off a piece of tape, but because you don't wanna stick the tape directly onto a burn because that'll make the burn worse when you take it off, what I do is I rip off a little piece of napkin, I put that on first, and then I tape it down which you guys have probably all done that before with something like a skin knee or something. But it's great for burns. Use a couple of strips of tape just to make sure that it's well covered and it's gonna stay in place if you continue to do whatever move it was that was irritating you. You can also use your hoop tape. If you use the molar tape or something that's similar to that, that's actually what that tape is made for. It's actually made to be put on skin. So if you wanna have an extra roll of the tape that you use on your hoop, in your bag that kind of covers you twice because you can retape a little bit of your hoop or you can tape something that is burning. And again, for those burns and bruises, I've got Arnica. This is just Arnica cream that you rub onto a bruise and it's gonna make the bruise less intense and really help it heal faster. A lot of people also like essential oils. It's great to have that in your bag in case you get an unexpected little boo-boo somewhere. Make sure that you ask if it's okay to use a lotion or a gel or you know anything that might come off on the apparatus that you're using if it's not yours if there's other people using it because you wouldn't want to show up to a studio or a class and touch the apparatus you're supposed to use and it's too sticky or it's too slippery and 
you know, it's just nice. It's just polite. That was an excellent idea. I'm enjoying this video so much now. <laughs> Next up, I've got a little deodorant just you know, in case I feel like I need a little extra deodorant, always good idea to have that. My bottle of water. Of course, it's better to have a recyclable bottle. I don't have one at the moment, so I've just been refilling this one. Is that bad? Are you not supposed to do that with plastic bottles? I think you're not supposed to do that. I'm bad at, um, well, life, but like, you know, this especially. For those of you who know me, though, know that that's normally a bottle of Diet Coke. Uh, I drink a lot of Diet I drink way too much Diet Coke. Anyway, back to the subject. I also make sure to have a hairbrush. It's just nice to be able to brush your hair if it's getting in your face and you want to pull it back, or if you're going to do a cute video at the end of class. There they are. I have a box of hairpins. There are some moves that you actually are going to be much better off with your hair if you have long hair like I do, uh, pulled up and really close to your head. like. The lion roll, for example. I was training lion rolls. I was going around the hoop over and over and over again. And then I finished rolling and I tried to pull my head away and I had wrapped my hair all the way around the hoop about four times. And I had to get back in the hoop and then climb around it in the opposite direction to unwrap my own hair. So don't do that. Have some pins ready. I also have a lipstick because if you wanna do a cute video at the end of class, you might want to whack on a lipstick. It just looks nice in video, so I make sure to have at least one little lipstick. I also have some hand sanitizer because COVID, but also because if you are feeling a little bit sweaty, it's great to put this on your hands and dry your hands out just a little bit. So that can really help you with your grip in the right situation. And on that same note, I have my rosin sock. <laughs> this is just a sock filled with rosin. I've put my raw rosin in here. I just uh, clap it together on my hands. Or if it's not coming out as much as you want, you can put it on the ground, crush it a little bit, and then continue to clap it or on the back of my neck for neck hangs or on my knees or on my heels. If you're not used to using rosin, know that it is gonna make your skin a little bit more painful because your skin is sticking to the hoop or the hammock or the silks or whatever. Powder up, do this and just hold it. That will make the heat of your hands melt the rosin and then it will become much stickier and more gluey. I was just saying to my friend this morning that I don't think I'm actually doing a neck hang. I think I'm just gluing myself to the hoop. Make sure that you ask if you can use rosin because it is going to stay on whatever you touch afterwards and you don't want to make something super sticky for someone else who has to use it. Now I want to move on to stuff that I take with me when I'm going for my own personal training. So when I'm doing an open gym kind of free training situation or whatever I'm doing on my own. So not a class situation, but more my own personal thing. First off, I make sure to have my choreography notebook and a pencil. Uh, this is just so that I can write down if I have ideas for sequences or moves that I want to work on or whatever comes into my mind. I am very like paper oriented when it comes to writing down choreography, but of course you can put a note on your phone. I also bring my own span set and my own swivel and carabiner. Sometimes, even if they provide equipment for you at whatever studio you're training at, they might have a different span set than you're used to. So they might have a rope, they might have something that's more uh, difficult on your skin. You also know what length it is. Also, they might not have a swivel, so it's good to make sure that you will have a swivel so you can spin. You wanna make sure that your hoop is attached to a span set, is attached to the swivel at the top of the span set. If the swivel is between the span set and the hoop, anytime you touch the span set, it's gonna kill your spin. So I wanna be sure that I can do span set, swivel on the top. So with this, I know I'm gonna be able to set that up. I also like to bring a snack because a lot of times I'm at open trainings for like three or four hours. Um, these are just cashew nuts. I really like cashew nuts. So that's a great like easy light snack is nuts or anything easily snackable like that. <laughs> I've got another lipstick. I am that girl. I'm that girl that has three lipsticks in her workout bag. Here's the third one. What? Why am I like this? I do love lipstick. 
Also for an open training or if I'm rehearsing a routine, it is great to have wireless earbuds. I made sure when I bought these to get some that were nice and small so they fit in my ears really well. Even if you're not running a routine that you need to listen to the music, it's great to have these to warm up if you feel like having a certain music for your warm up. So wireless earbuds are just really nice to have. Finally, uh, a little extra. This is a Bluetooth remote for my phone. So what I can do with this is just push the button and my phone will take a picture. That way I can do little selfies. I can do some, you know, shots of myself while I'm warming up. It's nice if you're someone who's trying to like grow their Instagram, this is a great thing to have. This came with my ring light that I use for videos. So it was actually free, but the whole ring light setup was like 35 euros. So very worth it. That is everything that is in my bag. And now we'll reorganize it and put it back. What I'm doing right now is focus more on uh, hoop, silks, hammocks, straps, like that kind of apparatus, uh, especially for pole dance. I replace the rosin with dry hands because rosin can leave uh, residue on poles, whereas dry hands is much better for poles. That's the name of the brand, dry hands, and that's just a slightly different product. Also, you know, you don't need a long sleeve top for pole because you will slide down pole. So you don't need as many extra clothes. These little adjustments, but this is just, you know, this is my stuff. I mean, the snack, snack's gonna work for uh, any situation, really. So, snacks. Please take a minute to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. On Wednesdays, I do tutorials. On Saturdays, I do videos more like this, where we talk about just something having to do with Ariel. And if you have a request, let me know, because I love to get requests. I'm always looking for ideas for videos, and I want to know what you guys want to see. Like, that's what I'm doing here. I'm making the videos that you want to see. So, <laughs> let me know what those are. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you guys next time. I deserve this. I feel good about it. Spilled it. I spilled it on myself. That was gonna happen, wasn't it?